in focus. Oh my gosh, I look so pale. Okay, let's set this little baby up and have a little chat. Alrighty, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So I was just thinking and I was like, I should vlog my experience with this because I haven't been on Instagram. Well, okay, so Saturday morning, I think I was on Instagram a little bit. It's Monday now and then, or no, Saturday I was on Instagram. Okay, so basically all day yesterday, Sunday, I wasn't on Instagram and then now it's Monday and I am taking another 24 hours off of Instagram. I've never done more than 24 hours off of Instagram. I did go on Bronte's Boutique Instagram this morning to make a post and do some stories and I will be posting again later on my business page. I feel like I couldn't go another day not posting on Bronte's Boutique which is my business and my livelihood. So it's like, okay, I'll do that. But my personal Instagram, I'm taking another 24 hours off of, um, I honestly just like ha don't have the desire to go back on yet. Um, Instagram has been just like a weird place for me recently where it's just brought like a lot of anxiety and like making me upset. Like I'm just really focused on like my numbers that I'm doing and like my engagement hasn't been bad. So it has been bad. So that's making me upset and like just seeing what everyone else is doing, you compare and like I see everyone doing all these fun things on the weekend and traveling and stuff. And I'm like, I don't have the money right now to travel. So it just like makes me upset sometimes. And I think that's really normal. I talk about it really often on, um, my personal page just like being real with you guys and I talked about it recently like comparing on Instagram so I was like you know what I just need a break from it so sorry if you can hear the dogs in the back Millie Jess come here hey stop it come here come here good girls good girls good girls um so yesterday I was off of Instagram all day and yesterday was Sunday. So it was kind of easier, I guess, because I kept busy. I went with um, two of my friends to like this bouncy house place with their kids. And then they came over and we had a pool day, which was really fun. And then Cooper and I cleaned the house. And then what'd we do? Oh, we went and got takeout from our favorite Indian food place. So like yesterday, wasn't bad because I kept super busy now today's Monday and usually like first thing I would do is be on Instagram chatting like getting the day started posting and like I'm not doing all of that so I'm a little stressed because I'm like trying to figure out what I need to do to keep busy so I'm not like thinking about scrolling on Instagram so basically I figured I would vlog this with you guys my day of what I do not being on social media even though I have been on like TikTok and Facebook. Okay, yeah, so I figured, sorry, the dogs are just being crazy. Hey, what did I just say? What did I just say? Are you done? crazy dogs I think they're done so yeah I figured I would just vlog my day today with you guys because I have a little something planned that I'm gonna do so I'm I was in my office this morning like caught up on emails and packaged a few orders I'm gonna make breakfast and then I'm going to go to a coffee shop I think and edit a YouTube video that's going on our second channel and um, go downtown and do a few outfit photos um, So that's kind of my plan today and I figured I would just Take you guys along with me because I'm, I'm not talking on Instagram today, so I guess we'll talk to YouTube Okay, let's make my morning smoothie. I'll show you guys What I make It's like my go-to smoothie Almost every morning my bananas are going a little bit bad, but that's okay. Okay, we got frozen berries, strawberries, 
frozen blueberries. And I'm gonna do a banana. Bananas are going a little bit bad, but it's fine. It's just for a smoothie. Okay, so a banana. I do like a handful of blueberries. Usually like five strawberries. They're like whole strawberries. Those are little ones, so I'm gonna do two more. And then I just put water in my smoothies unless I have like oat milk or almond milk, but I don't. But a lot of the time I just put water, which I'm gonna do. And then this is my favorite protein powder, the Orgain plant-based vanilla bean protein powder. So good. I just do one scoop. I'll do, I think it recommends two scoops. Yeah, serving, serving size is two scoops. You can do, and I usually do two if I have a smoothie after a workout or like before. But usually if I make a smoothie right after I work out, I'll do the two scoops. But this is my first meal of the day, so I'm just doing one. And then a latte from the Brita. And that's it. Sometimes I put chia seeds in it or peanut butter. I haven't put peanut butter in a smoothie in a while. Should I do that? No, I'm not in the mood for peanut butter. But then I have the Ninja Blender, which is the best thing ever. Can never live without this thing and blender it. And there you have it. A delicious smoothie. <laughs> I have a smoothie pretty much every single morning. Um, it's my favorite meal to start the day. I don't know, because I'm usually not like super hungry in the morning and this just kind of like gets some food in my system. And it's good, refreshing. I, I honestly have a lot that I could do today. I need to make a list, let's make a list. Let's do a list together. So I keep myself busy but yeah i'm gonna title this video 48 hours off of instagram because that is what it's basically going to be because yesterday was sunday i wasn't on it at all i wasn't even on bronte's boutique i just like completely took the day off um and then today i'm gonna be basically off of it okay so monday to do okay so we need to edit the youtube video do photos. I think I have three looks I'm gonna do. Looks. Um, I need to hang stuff in closet. My closet is a mess. Organize closet. Um, oh, we need to go food shopping. Food shopping. Um, I think that's it. But so far, honestly, being off of Instagram has been so nice. I need to make more of a conscious effort when I'm just like on Instagram because it's so hard because it's my job. Um, well, let me set you up. It's so hard because Instagram is my job. So like, I feel like I have to be on it like 100% of the time. But I need to make more of a conscious effort to like post what I need to post, do my stories, chit chat, whatever, and then not scroll because I get into such a phase of like literally scrolling all day. Like I will just like be doing something, go on Instagram, scroll, like do this, go on Instagram, scroll when like I just, I need to stop doing that because it's bad. But then it's so hard because like I said, Instagram is my job and I need to be like engaging commenting on people's posts like watching stories replying to stories like that's all part of it as well so it's like it's just really hard to find that balance like i guess i need to work on like okay sit down for 30 minutes scroll do your engagement and then put your phone down like or don't scroll you know so i have to work on being better at that because it really does affect my mental health and it just does like I look on people's Instagrams and I'm like oh my god this person's doing this 
this person's getting this many likes and she has the same amount of followers as me why aren't i doing as well or like seeing people do stuff on stories like so i've been seeing so many people traveling recently and i just like have such an itch to want to travel but i just don't have the money for it yet like i just cooper and i both have small businesses and we just can't do that yet but we want to eventually and we will but right it's just like it's hard seeing people like doing all these fun things and you can't do it and it just i don't know it's just hard i'm just venting i feel like now <laughs> it's hard when social media is your job i'm finding a balance of being on it and Yeah. finding the balance of being on it and working but then also like taking care of your mental health so i'm figuring that out but i really honestly just like so far haven't even had any desire to go on instagram like i really don't even care which is good um the only thing i've like thought about in the back of my head is like i do have one like uh collab post that I need to make this week so I'm like trying to figure out and like there's something else that I have to talk about on stories um so yeah that's it is it did over yesterday I'm like I just keep um refreshing my email <laughs> it's like the most exciting thing for me right now all right I'll be back I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do next and then catch you guys up on that. Ooh. Hello. Alrighty, I just got ready, packed all my outfits, my little bag right here, and I'm heading downtown. I got this little slick back pony look going on for this first look. Um, this top is so uncomfortable, like when I'm driving like that, yeah. It's just like weird. It's like a corset top. It's really cute. You know when you have like a really cute outfit, but it's just not comfortable. I feel like that's a lot of like my real, my like extra cute outfits are just not comfortable. And I'm always one who focuses on comfort. So when I'm uncomfortable, I'm just like, I don't even care to wear it, but I'm just going to do a photo in this. And then I have other stuff to change into, but heading downtown and gonna shoot some looks but first I have to get gas I'm on I'm on e. okay hello again um another update I'm downtown I just shot two looks the lighting is like very weird because it's about to rain Can you see yeah it's very dark and I have one more look that I want to shoot. Well, I actually had two, but I don't think I'm going to get the fourth one done. So I'm going to try and get this one more done. I have no idea what I want to do for it. The first two, the first one, I don't know if I love. The second one I liked better, which was actually a Bronte's Boutique fit, which is cute. I shot them both right there against that white wall with the little palm trees. Um, to do this third one i'm gonna head over towards where i'm gonna get coffee the coffee shop i'm gonna sit in oh my god jesus <laughs> and we're not focused i'm just moving you guys all around okay let's stay right there um yeah so i'm gonna head over towards the coffee shop and there will be a cute little spot over there. Actually, I don't think I know exactly how to get there. Whatever, we'll figure it out. So keep them busy today. It's 12.30. Not on Instagram again today. It's, it's just been nice. Like, even I'm doing content and not even thinking about, like, posting them. I'm just doing photos for myself because it's one of the things that I love to do. And, like, obviously I'm going to post them eventually, but just doing them for me right now so downtown sarasota is like 25 minutes from our house 
super easy to get here. It's like two exits over. Or no, it's a, it's it's like five, I think, but it doesn't even feel that long. Um, yeah, so I come down here all the time to do photos and there's a bunch of like cool little coffee shops that I really like. Um, and yeah, it's one of like my favorite places near where we live. It's a really cool like city with a bunch of cool restaurants and there's a lot of apartments and like some hotels, but it's not like a crazy busy city, which I like honestly, like there's not much traffic, not that many people. It's like the city feel, but without the like madness of a city, which is cool. So I like it down here a lot. Okay, no worries. All right, I will catch you guys up when we get to the coffee shop. Not the stoplight, but this, these two corners I've taken photos at a bunch. Um, I'm gonna go left here. Oh, it's looking scary dark over there. But yeah, this is kind of a downtown area. Oh, I've taken photos over here. This is what I do when I'm doing photos by myself. I literally just drive around and try and find like a parking spot and somewhere to do photos. And I hop on out and take my tripod and do the photo. This could be cute. Okay. So I have this cute little like pastel color dress and there's kind of like some pinks in it. So I'm gonna take my photo. So you can see right there. I'm gonna do this one photo and then go to the coffee shop. It's right down there. Alrighty, back in the car. I just showed you guys that little like pan of that coffee shop. If you're from the downtown Sarasota area, that's Project Coffee. It's amazing, one of my favorite places. I got a matcha there and then I got a latte and avocado toast to go. I'll show you this avocado toast. It's my honestly probably favorite avocado toast I've ever had from anywhere. It's so amazing. Oh my gosh. It's on like these thick sourdough pieces of bread. I don't know what it is, but it is so freaking good. So I did some emails. I ordered some stuff for Bronte's Boutique. Um, and I downloaded all the videos from a video that's going on our second channel onto my phone. So I'm gonna go home, eat, and then edit that. Um, so yeah, ooh, there looks like there's an accident on the highway, so. I'll take a back way to get home. So now I'm gonna head home. It's raining, crappy day. So I'm gonna go home and edit, but I'm keeping busy. Honestly, really happy to be off of Instagram. I'm starting to miss it like a little bit. Like there's a few things I usually would like show. Um, you know what? Actually, no, I'm really not missing it at all. <laughs> kind of scares me, but. It's been a nice, just like, break. Really needed it. Okay. Let's go home, edit a video, eat, and then probably clean my room a little bit, and, um, yeah. And then go grocery shopping with my Koopy. Okay. On my way home. There's the coffee shop. Project Coffee. So I've been in my office for the past few hours. I don't even know what time it is. Um, 
So I'm doing some manifesting, which I figured I would chat about. Um, I don't do this as much as I feel like I should, but I believe in manifesting and putting things out into the universe and it'll come back to you. So what I like to do is write things down. I have this little journal. Um, now whenever I just remember to do it, I write things down and do some manifesting and just think about it, write down what I want. Um, so like I write down 2021 manifestations and then basically write what I want. So like, I'm not gonna tell every single one, but like one of the things are, I want Bronte's Boutique Instagram to be at 10K followers and my personal to be at 50. So just like goals and things that I want to happen. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing that real quick. Okay, I don't know when the last time I updated you guys was, but still haven't been on Instagram all day besides for Ronti's Boutique. Wow. Say hi to my vlog. Hey vlog. Hey. <laughs> you got Jesse attached to you? She often does this. Why are you so dang cute? You too, Millie. You three, Lona. My three girls. And my man. <laughs> okay, so we just went grocery shopping. I think that was the last thing that was on my to-do list. Are we focused? Um, you got to with that, I'm going to the shop. You're done already? Oh, okay. I mean, in this case, it is. I walked to the shop. It's a little <laughs> hot, but I'll live. Have fun. Maybe. Right. Me and the girls will be in here. Okay, so I figured I would, I, we already put the groceries away, but let me show you what we got. So we're trying to be more conscious about what we get because we kind of get things and tend to don't eat them. So I got some peaches that I just cut up. I always try to cut up my fruit because I'll eat it if I do that. I got kombuchas. These were buy one, get one free. So I got four of them. Um, I already had carrots and hummus. Love that as a snack. Cooper got these little slider platters for lunch. Chobani flip cups for buy one get one free. So those are good like desserts or maybe I'll have those midday. I got spinach to add to my smoothies, tomatoes and uh, romaine for the tortoises. Now I really struggle on eating lunch so I'm trying to be better about that. So the Chobani's I got maybe for lunch. I know it's not really a good lunch meal, but um, so I got these little salad kits that I figured would be good. So I'm gonna try to remember to eat those for lunch. So two of them. This one looks really good. And then Cooper picked out that one, but those will be like two good lunches. Then we got these little stir fries. Um, asparagus, we already had broccoli, but we got um, noodles as well that we're gonna do like a stir fry with one night. And I think that's it for in here. Oh, these are like, this is Cooper's draw because I don't eat eggs or meat or really cheese. I mean, sometimes I'll have like a quesadilla or something, but rarely. And then I got oat milk for my smoothies and for matcha, and this I'm gonna try in my matcha as well. Okay, let's go down here. The freezer is a mess, but um, these veggie burgers are my absolute favorites. Got those, we got some french fries. We like just having french fries to throw in the air fryer. And that was it, the rest of the stuff we already had. Why are you looking that? <laughs> um, and then I got bananas, which I have for my smoothie, like you guys saw this morning. What'd we get in here? Uh, not much, honestly. We got tortillas because we're gonna do tacos one night and everything else we already had and then Cooper got like a bunch of bread for his sandwiches and stuff, rice, and yeah, that's really it. We go to the grocery store like 
literally once a week and I feel like we'll go and then be like for dinner oh what do we have for dinner what do we have I feel like we don't have anything so I really tried to like write down a list and be more conscious of eating what we had planned so like we were like let's do a taco night we got those like oh I forgot to show you but we got these like Chinese noodles with the stir fry that we're gonna do we have pasta with like broccoli and like vodka sauce and then pasta with pesto one night so really trying to just be more conscious of like planning out our meals so we don't waste food and waste money so I also wanted to chat back in the spot that I was this morning just about not being on Instagram and how what I've kind of learned from these past 48 hours not being on it besides today I went on for Bronte's Boutique but my personal I have not been on um one it has just made me feel so less anxious and just like happier honestly like there's just so much anxiety that comes with that and I really just like feel really good and this was like a good cleanse I'm so happy that I did 48 hours and not 24 like did a little bit more um so yeah I just feel like honestly happier less anxious this really made me realize that I need to be more conscious of how much time I spend on Instagram and to do this more often like I, re I was talking to my mom about it and she was like maybe you should set it that like you're only on Instagram in your like work day from like nine to five or something like that so I might try to do something like that or really just like because like I was telling you guys it's my job and like to engage and whatnot so really just set like okay these 30 minutes I'm gonna sit on Instagram and engage or, or like after I post a photo set an hour to like sit on Instagram and engage and do all the stuff that I do so I just really need to be more conscious about doing stuff like that sorry if you can hear the dogs they're going crazy so that is what else I learned from this um one thing on the other spectrum I am like missing because I just love like connecting and talking to you guys on Instagram so I do kind of miss that and like part of me is a little anxious in the fact that I'm like are people gonna like not miss me and like not care if I come back so I've been like kind of thinking about that I'm like shoot not being on Instagram like does anyone even care like probably not but like I don't know I just hope that when I come back on Instagram like people are excited and like miss me I guess it's kind of that sounds kind of weird but that's kind of how I'm feeling too I don't know um so yeah I guess really like will people still be there when I get back you know I guess it's kind of which like yes they will be so I shouldn't be anxious about that um but that's kind of on the other side what I'm anxious about but otherwise it's been great I actually can't even believe how like I haven't even had the urge to go on Instagram which in the past when I've done like a 24 hour not on Instagram it's been really hard like when it comes this time of the day I would I remember the last time I did it it was like six or seven o'clock and I was like okay I'm gonna go on like I basically wasn't on all day but I really like have not been on my personal Instagram for 48 hours like that's I'm really happy that I did that. I feel like I'll come back refreshed and like excited. Um, so yeah, that is it. I, I'll maybe I'll show you guys what I make for dinner, but today let's kind of recap. So I woke up, did some stuff in my office, packaged orders, um, did like some emails and stuff. Then I went downtown Sarasota. Did a few outfit photos, went to a coffee shop and sat there, did emails and stuff like that. And then I came home, I ate, I edited a YouTube video, and then Cooper and I went to go get groceries and we just put them away and now we're here. So that was kind of my day today. I'm glad I kept busy. That was super important. Um, and yeah, so... I'm not gonna close this video out just yet. I just wanted to update you guys on kind of like how I'm feeling, what I learned. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't know, I think that was it. That just, I feel like refreshed and like ready to be back on Instagram and like not as anxious about it. And that, and this really made me realize that I need to do this more often because I really get in a bad 
headspace with Instagram sometimes and in a bad routine of like Literally, there's days where I feel like I'm scrolling all day like that sounds so bad and I know I'm not alone, but like just Bouncing like I feel like I'll be on like Shopify on my boutique and then I get distracted and go on Instagram for like 15 minutes and then I'll go back and then I go back to Instagram and then I go back and then back to Instagram It's like no, I need to be better about being like, okay, I'm gonna go on Instagram from 10 to 11, then not go on it at all until like two o'clock again, then go on it for another hour. Like, dogs, Luna, they're not gonna stop. Okay, but yeah, that's my point. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, it's time to feed the doggos now, and then feed myself. Okay, I'll show you guys what how we feed them container with their food we give them purina pro plan and they each get one and a half scoops and i spill here and there and then usually i'll just take one and like split it between the two and then luna gets a little scoop and she likes to eat here in the laundry room Ready right for food, doggies? Luna, yours is in here. Come here, Luna. Come here. Go eat your food. Eat your food, Luna. Luna gets very protective over her food. All right, come on. Come on. The Goldens are weird. Some and like Luna is too. Like some days they'll eat their food quickly. Whoa! I just almost dropped that. Clarota. One and two. See, like they're weird sometimes. They don't eat right away. And then a lot of the time they'll switch bowls or share. I don't know. They're they're just weirdo dogs. <laughs> Excuse me, Molly. Okay, now I'm gonna make dinner for me. I think I'm gonna have this. Oh, actually, you might have leftover. Oh, do I have leftover pasta? Pesto? And some broccoli? Or do I make a rice bowl? I can't decide. Oh no! Jess, what should I have for dinner? What do you think? What do you think, little cutie? Oh, they're so sweet. Shoot. Um. Oh my god, I really don't know. And then it's be thrown out. Okay, let's just have leftovers because this is here. It's gonna go bad anyways. I'll make broccoli with it. Okay, so first I'm gonna chop up broccoli. I'm just doing one head because Cooper already ate, so I'm just gonna each by my shell. Make sure you wash your veggies. Oh, you're tilting over there. <laughs> This new Doja Cat song called Me To Know has been stuck in my freaking head. It's so good. Um, my battery's gonna die, so that's great. But I'm just, oh my God, the camera keeps tilting. Okay, I'm gonna cook and then I'll show you when the finished product is done because my camera's about to die, but it's keeping me busy talking to you. I'm not going on Instagram. Maybe I'll watch a YouTube video while I cook. Oh, my phone's charging. You're, you guys are literally tilted. I'm a mess, I'm sorry. I don't know why my camera thing won't stay straight. Okay, BRB when I'm done. Here's what we got going on here. 
my pesto, pasta, and my broccoli is in the air fryer. So yummy, so yummy, I'm so good. Easy. Quick dinner. Here is the finished product, amazing. I am going, I'm gonna eat this, watch some YouTube videos, and just hang out the rest of the night. So thanks for watching. Um, this was a good 48 hours. I feel really good and ready to be on, ready to be back on Instagram tomorrow. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. My camera's about to die, so I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.